Yes, everyone, I'm back. Well, kind of, uh, maybe like a little part-time thing going on. But thank you very much for all the well wishes, the love, the support, the messages. It's been very overwhelming. Little baby Archie is doing absolutely great. And so is his beautiful mother. Um, we're back at it today. We've been invited to an opening event in West London, where I am right now. So we're gonna go and check that out together. It's nice to get out of the house, even if it's just for a day or two here and there for the first month. But we have got other content dropping on our other platforms. Joe, FRC North, he's running it up there now. It's some amazing content coming. We've got all the other creators as well doing their thing. So if you haven't already, go and see our other platforms. There's still plenty of wonderful food content for you to get your lips around from Food Review Club. Callum, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Come on, nice to see you again, bruv. Thank you. Um, let's get to Band of Burgers, brand new open event, West London, sexy place, beautiful day, November. Let's go. Yes, people, so we're here at the Band of Burgers and first impressions, it looks legit. Immediately, they're mincing their own meat. They cut the steak, they mince it, nothing is frozen. And they're not meant, we're not even the chips, chipping around potatoes, not many places can say that. Um, we're at the soft launch today in Fulham. Um, I think they open uh, tonight to a few select people, and then tomorrow is the official launch. But we're over the moon to be invited down here. I absolutely love this, coming to try a burger place before it's even open. I know they've got a few places around town, but this should be a good one. Well, I'm so excited to try this food. Let's go! The food has landed, people. Check it out. Callum, we've got the barbecue wings. Now these, interestingly, have got crispy shallots on and pineapple sauce. That sounds amazing. Got the loaded fries, chili con carne loaded fries, got red pepper sauce on there and sour cream. They look sexy AF. And then we've got what you've all come to see, the burgers. I couldn't decide whether to get the beef, the Wagyu or the chicken, so I went for two. And we might get the Wagyu one from the TikTok, we'll see. <laughs> this is the Elvis burger. Got a triple stacker. Then we've got the buttermilk. It's like, genuinely looks sensational. Good buns, nice sauces, early indicators, suggest big things. Now, before I tuck into the food, where are you watching this video from right now? I haven't uploaded the video for a while. Get in the comments right now and let me know where you're watching this from. It'll be amazing to see where in the world, in the UK, you're watching this from. And uh, once again, thank you for all the well wishes we've had recently. Now, Callum, let's go over the wings. These here are five pounds for six. Whatever way you're looking at that, it's good value. Now let's see. How, oh, well, they've already got, I can feel it's crisp. Here we go, look. Pineapple sauce, crispy shallots on top. Get in there. Oh, I love food so much. Beautiful. Wow, that barbecue is like a, an Asian sweet barbecue. Not your regular sticky Texas trash. That is delicate. It's got a silky flavor profile and that pineapple sauce cuts through really nice. That gentle acidity. Wow. So good. I've got to do it all over again. The crispy shallots on top as well. What a game changer they are. Shallots, like posh onions. Amazing. Nicely cooked. Yeah, that down. Tender meat. Mm. Do you know what? They are legit. If you serve these at one of the top, I'm not going to say the names out of respect, but if you serve these at the top places, you wouldn't blink an eyelid. Delicate, fancy, and delicious. Wow. I feel like I've got some energy today, Callum. That's a good start. It's a really good start. 
Let's have a look at what other wings they've got on the menu, just quickly, people. Hot sriracha, barbecue, sweet chili or peri-peri. The rest of them sounded a little bit, yeah. Been there, done that, right? Went for the barbecue. High hopes, delivered. That is an FRC slam dunk. And when the camera goes off, I'm gonna botch all of them. All right, cool. Next thing, the chicken burger. Let's do that. Now, interesting things to talk about, like I've already mentioned in this video, everything's done fresh, and there's definitely an element of that in the place. Um, obviously, this is an invite job, so they've said, do you wanna come down and try? I was like, yeah, definitely, we're in the area. Let's come. Pictures look good. We need some content. Blown away. Now, this is why I'm blown away. This is why I wanna come down and do this place. This is why we're here. That buttermilk, can you see that? That slaw, the cheese, and the bun. Bun looks good. We took some pictures for a little while before for a TikTok, uh, sorry, for a reel, and uh, the bun's been sitting there, look, nothing. Still firm, still rigid, perfect. Love it. Why are people still going to book us and using that shit? Like, this is the standard people this is what me you and other foodies expect let's go it's refreshing to see such an amazing bit of chicken in a proper bun i'm gonna be honest it really is it's delicious the cheese sauce stunning I've got a bit of heat coming through there. That bit of a chilli spice to it. The buttermilk is sensational. Now, I'm not usually a big fan of the slaw. That is so creamy, so crunchy. I'm not really seeing a lot of negative to this place at the moment. These are the things that we want ticked off as foodies, right? Is it clean? Is it tidy? Obviously, when you walk in, they've got an amazing uh, thing of uh, band of burgers. Obviously, bands, music. Obviously, that's their inspiration. It looks cool, it's funky. And then the food's backing it up with the proper buns, toasted up, sauces, care, attention, love. And that burger there, let's have a look at the chicks on fire. £9.50. So you're not paying through the nose. It's a proper burger. The sort of burger that you would that you would easily only need one of. A big old lump, not like these, not like the booker's trash, we need to have 15 of them. A tiny little piece of bread that just capitulate into nothing. Right, this is the, I suppose, the main event, brother. Um, we got B-roll of this actually being chopped, the steak being chopped, the mince being minced, patty being rolled, seasoned, grilled, and rather than diving in like a, uh, a rock ape, I'm gonna cut it and reveal it today. What are you saying about that, Callum? Mm -hmm. We getting fancy, do you think people will mind that? Get fancy. Ah. See the cooking. Now you see, this is interesting, okay? Because you can ask for your meat here. Obviously, this is not smashed patties. Thicker, chunkier, juicy meat. You can ask for a medium, medium well, or well done. And here we go, the grand you, reveal. You went for medium well. Medium well, I want it. Oh. And there we go. That's good. Look at that. And even under, three patties of juice, that these buns, I don't know who your baker is, people, fat, cheesy, juicy patties, and, Callum, tell me about the bacon here. So it's turkey rashers, but they uh, sprinkle truffle honey, I think it was. Truffle honey on the turkey bacon. I'm excited for this. Now this burger is 11.50, but come on. The difference with proper nice cut of steak chopped up, then minced on site, fresh. The difference is night and day in terms of flavour. It tastes rich, strong flavour. It's I believe it's aged beef as well, so it's got that strong aged flavour to it and it's not been lost by being 
sat in a mincer for three days in the bag, frozen, transported, all of the goodness sucked out of it, like a ho like a fun hoover. Flavor hoover, dare I say it. A little bit taken away by that. Very nice, tastes different, no one's doing that. Last up bro, that winter warmer, chili con carne, fries. Red pepper. Look at that. Look at that, I've got too much in my fork there to actually put it in my mouth. <laughs> and these chips aren't frozen either, hand pressed, I saw them doing it. Oh man. Right, band of burgers. I've not got a lot of negative say about this, really. Wow, bro. Um, chili con carne fries to finish. It really took me by surprise. Buttermilk chicken for me, sensational. Really, really beautiful. That meat, um, different. No one's doing it. It was like, I, I feel a bit silly that I'm surprised that it tasted so good and how better it tastes than a lot of other places we've been to. We've been, we've been, to, we've been to some sensational burger shops. Particularly in London. Um, the wings to start, come on, how good were they? Drink watch as well, water, <laughs> botched it before we even started. No more fizzy drinks for me, man's in the gym. Um, oh, yeah. We're taking it seriously out here, bro. Hence, I've just had two burgers, six wings, and a portion of chips. <laughs> it's time for a score, people. Now, I want to invite you guys to get in the comments down and, and see what you think. See if we're, after 1200 reviews, see if we're on the same page. Um, in my head, does this creep into the nines, the elite category, the special, the regarded? This is what we're trying to achieve by showing you this food of this caliber. The bun, the meat, the sauces, the flavors, the wings, the interior, the team. I feel blessed to be it. Is it a nine? You're damn right it is. No. I'm gonna give them, creep them over into the nines. 9.1 puts band of burgers right up there with the best. Come and put me to the test. Those barbecue wings, legit. Burgers, on point. And the chili fries, as my man John would say, a leng leng. Thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate you all. And once again, thank you for the positivity with Baby Archie. We are over the moon and the Food Review Club family is one more. See us big daddy B, pugs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?